Hey guys, does this look familiar? The Enagic SD501 Canyon Water Ionizer. Maybe your friend introduced it to you, maybe it was a coworker, I don't know. Maybe you already bought one, maybe you're just doing your research, but I wanna tell you about something better. It's got more plates, more power, better hydrogen, better ORP, and it's got a lifetime warranty, and it costs less, and I wanna show you what it can do. Follow me over here, I got some amazing demonstrations to show you. Now, some of these demonstrations you may have already seen, but I'm gonna show you why my water ionizer can do it better. I've got some really popular water brands over here. I've got some tomatoes. I got some tea bags. I got some meters. I got all kinds of crazy stuff here and I'm going to show you some really cool stuff that's going to blow your mind. So stay with me to the end. I even bought some of the so-called good expensive stuff like Essentia that's supposed to be alkaline pH and all these really great antioxidants. Let's see how it shows up towards the end here. But first I want to jump in and put some tomatoes in these cups and I want to do that because my Tiant alkaline level three water can clean vegetables better than any other water on the planet. If you're still cleaning your vegetables with tap water or any other kind of water, even any other kind of chemical, you're really not getting them clean and I'm gonna show you that right in front of your eyes. Guys, this is a live take, so we're gonna keep everything honest. No cuts, everything straight in front of you and I'm not gonna uh, hide anything. You're gonna see picture in picture to make sure that everything you see is actually happening. So many people are putting out videos with cuts and takes, all these different things. We're doing it one time. Everything's there for you. Let's keep it honest, okay? First, I'm gonna put some tap water in this one over here. This pitcher is filled with just regular good old fashioned tap water and this bottle right here is filled with Tiant Alkaline Level 3 water. I'm just going to soak these tomatoes. I'm going to kind of get this started and then set them aside because it just takes a couple minutes to work. So just put them out of the way here for a minute. And I want to jump into molecular hydrogen first because molecular hydrogen is by far the most important antioxidant of all. Okay, guys, I'm talking about athletes, I'm talking about doctors, I'm talking about scientists, I'm talking about just about every single angle. They're all coming together to talk about how molecular hydrogen has a beneficial positive effect on every major organ in the human body and I'm gonna show you how to get it, okay? We're talking about over 1,000 clinical studies out there now to prove the amazing effects of molecular hydrogen. Not easy to get, not easy to make, and not easy to keep, but let's see how all these different waters fare when it comes to me using my molecular hydrogen meter on them, all right, guys? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna fill up some of these cups with some of these popular waters. I'm not gonna put too much of them in there, and I'm gonna set the bottles aside because they're just kind of in the way, frankly. And they're all fresh bottles. And let me just get them out of the way here. And then I got the smart water here. Let's see if it's actually smart or not. And I got, this is like a fruit, fruit shoot hydro. I got some of these fruit flavored waters. They're pretty popular. They claim to be really healthy and really good for you. We're just gonna do a comparison test on them here. And I'm gonna have the name of each one of them up here for you so that you don't forget which one's which. I'm just moving the bottles out of the way to keep it simple and so I don't spill anything. Because again, guys, when you're doing this stuff without cuts, sometimes things get messy. So if I spill something or make a mess, you'll not, now you know why. This is Life Water, all right? One of those more expensive brands that claims to be so good. Let's find out. This is Essentia. Now guys, I have a hunch about Essentia. I have a hunch that the pH is gonna test fairly well but I don't think it's gonna fare so well when it comes to the real important benefits like hydrogen and ORP. This is some tap water. And then we've got some of the tiant water here. Now, all I'm gonna do is go down the line and I'm just gonna test each one of these with our molecular hydrogen meter. Guys, molecular hydrogen is the smallest, lightest molecule in the world, and it's very hard to keep, like I said. And what you're probably gonna see here across the board is all zeros on most of these, because it's very difficult to make molecular hydrogen. And it's such an important, amazing antioxidant. If you're not feeling great and you wanna feel better, if you're already feeling great and you wanna reach the next level, if you're an athlete and you wanna hit uh, that kind of secret uh, you know, uh, edge that the professionals have been using now for so many years, or if you wanna lose some weight, or if you just wanna kinda of, you know, do something positive for your overall health, molecular hydrogen is what everybody's talking about. It's what, you know, uh, athletes and doctors and uh, very, very wealthy 
um, actors and actresses have been using as their secret for a long time, and we finally got a way to make it here and make it at therapeutic levels. Guys, molecular hydrogen, you're looking for anything over a, a 0.8. Once you hit 1.0, you're really hitting amazing levels, and anything above that is very, very astounding and very, very difficult to make. Now, just watch this. This is your Thai alkaline level three drinking water. It's approaching 0.8, and we're gonna see if we can get it to climb above that. So we're getting ready to reach 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. We're going above up to 1.3, 1.4 we're gonna come up on. Guys, this is amazing, okay? We're talking about true molecular hydrogen that can penetrate every cell in your body, hit the mitochondria, and really do amazing things for your body, guys. We're topping out at about, probably call it a 1.7 molecular hydrogen. Now guys, if you see water ionizer companies out there with these blue drops making all kinds of crazy claims about their levels, don't believe it guys. This is a very expensive and very well calibrated meter and it's very important to understand that the blue drops are impossible to get accurate readings on. All right, the next thing I wanna do is an ORP test. Now, ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. Now, what that means is something's potential to be an antioxidant, okay guys? What's, oxida what's oxidation? You, you, you cut open an apple, it turns brown, or you have nails that, that they rust, that's oxidation. We're looking to have an antioxidizing effect. Anytime you see a positive number, it's oxidizing. Anytime you see a negative number, it's antioxidizing. So let's jump right in here. I'll do this one quick because mostly I can tell if it's going up, it's gonna keep going up. We're looking for it to go down, because remember guys, down to the negative side is when it becomes an antioxidant. This one's going down a little bit, but it ain't gonna get there, and you'll see why. You'll see what happens when there's actually antioxidants in the water. Again, going up. Let's go through these as quick as possible. Going up. Going down a little bit, but again, it ain't gonna get there, and you'll see why here in just a second. You'll see what I mean. We're getting over to, this is the life water. You see that's going up. Remember guys, we're looking for a negative. This is essential, guys. This is that expensive water that's supposed to be so great. Let's see. So it's going down, but it's still at a positive 172, 173. It's still oxidizing, guys. If you see me looking off to my left, it's because I'm trying to watch the monitor to make sure that you can read these small numbers on the meter, okay? So excuse that. So this is just ordinary tap water. Again, we're going up, and now we're gonna to go to the Tiant Alkaline Level 3 to see if this number, we're looking for this number to change to a negative. See that little negative pop up there, guys? We're up around negative 800. Negative 800 ORP, guys. That's an amazing, amazing number, guys. It just proves the level of antioxidants. There's more antioxidants in a glass of Tiant water than there is in a glass of orange juice. So pretty amazing stuff. The next thing I wanna show you real quick before we get to the tomatoes, and you'll be amazed at what happened with the tomatoes. I got some tea bags here. Now, these tea bags, I want you to imagine that these represent the cells in your body. Remember I told you molecular hydrogen is the smallest, lightest molecule in the world? Well, I wanna show you how that works. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna fill it up with tap water. Or not fill it up, but put some in there. And then I'm gonna take the Tiant Level 3 water and I'll put it in here. I want you to see if you notice anything different with what happens here. Take a look at how much faster this one, the Tiant Alkaline water penetrates into that tea bag because of the molecular hydrogen content. Now, we can just keep on going and making tea with this. I don't have a ton of water left in this bottle, but you get the point. And you see how fast it happens. And guys, it's not a magical, it's not a magical tea bag. I'm gonna prove that to you right now. If I take that same tea bag, this is the one that's not making the water over here, and I use it with the time where you see how fast, I can make about 30 cups of tea with that, and again, if I take this one that we've been using for the tiant water and I put it over here with the tap water, you'll see even though it's saturated, it's still not gonna do that. It's still not gonna make that, that tea that way. So take a look at how that molecular hydrogen can penetrate into the mitochondria of your cells, guys. Ama imagine what's the first thing you're gonna notice when your body gets truly hydrated and full of molecular hydrogen. Pretty amazing stuff. Now. Let's get to the tomatoes. Guys, again, if you're washing your tomatoes with tap water or any other kind of chemical or whatever it is, I promise you you're not getting them clean 
Only tie in alkaline level three waters and get your tomatoes clean. Why? Because pesticides, herbicides, insecticides are all made with oil. They're all, all oil based. Why? Because oil and water don't mix. And when the rain comes down from the sky, they don't want it to wash off. The farmers don't want it to wash off. Well, you go home and use water and it's not going to wash it off either. So take a look at what happens here. What we have here is our tap water. That water looks nice and clear, right? You're like, okay, what does that mean? Well, look at this one. Now, what do I have there? Well, what I have there is a whole glass of herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides. Over here, I have a glass of nothing, which means these tomatoes still have all that junk on it, and these tomatoes are actually finally clean. Now, for my grand finale, I'm gonna go down across all these different waters, and I'm gonna show you where they fall on the pH chart. All right, guys, let me just clean up my mess a little bit so I can run right down the line. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some pH reagent drops, which are these guys right here, and I'm gonna have a pH uh, chart put up here. And what you'll realize is that uh, seven is neutral, okay guys, it's the green. Everything to this side is acidic, we'll call it sickness. Everything to this side is health, it's alkaline. So you can see each, each name of the bottle up here. As I drop, as I put the drops in, take a guess in your mind if you think it's gonna be acidic or alkaline. So that's like really pretty acidic. And you can see, the further, closer it gets to red, the more acidic it is. And guys, pH is measured on what's called a logarithmic scale, which means every time you go down one point, you're going 10 times more. So from a seven to a six is 10 times more acidic, six to a five is 100 times, five to a four is 1,000 times, four to a three is 10,000 times. So look at this, guys. This is that essential water. You can see that it's a, it's a blue color. It's not actually the 9.5 or, or whatever they claim on the bottle, the bottle says 9.5. You guys can see that. I don't know if you can, I think you can. 9.5, it's not. And you can see from the pH chart, it's actually more like a bluish purple. I'm gonna show you what a true 9.5 looks like here from the tie at level three water. Take a look. So guys, that's what you're looking for. We're talking about a big difference. Remember, this essentially, this expensive bottled water didn't have any antioxidants, it had no ORP, no molecular hydrogen, and it's not really able to maintain that 9.5 pH because it's sitting around in a hot warehouse somewhere or on a shelf somewhere. The fresher you get it, the better it is for you guys. No matter what you're trying to do, Alkaline Water from Tiny USA can get you there. Make sure you click the button that you see